Welcome back home. I put that stuff up. And these are glitched in black now. I guess actually I can like fix it. Wow, it's good now. Hopefully that doesn't happen over and over again. These guys are up now. Apparently he had a robot arm. I think that wasn't as apparent the first time around, but now I can like, oh, or maybe... She did like hold it up, didn't she? Like maybe I just didn't zero in on it correctly. No, she held that one up. That one's way less obvious. That it, she's got a robot hand in it. So that's neat. Their cat's got a robot arm. It looks like some weird Mass Effect color scheme thingy. They got the grooming kit in here. And the big reveal, the boom! This is bigger. I actually like grabbed them all one by one and dug them up because I was gonna be like, I wanna make a supersized tank. God, the glare is so bad in this thing. I wanna make a supersized tank by getting rid of everything. But then I realized this tank only can be this big. It doesn't go to a f like a one by four length or anything like that. But uh, I went ahead and used some of the excess resources that I've got to build a second floor down here. And I also moved the reinforced panels down here. So this bottom floor, I don't know if I have any use for it right now, but it makes the tank, I can make it, I can have it make the tank big so that they are a little less crowded in there. And I can put the reinforced panels down there, which means I have more space. All of the junctions you would use to connect rooms to this thing uh, are good now because they're not being eaten up by the reinforced panels because I can put them downstairs and that's kind of neat. The base is a little bit bigger as a result. Yeah, I was gonna like dig all of these up. Uh, I had I put a I had two pa I had two storage things here, and I put all of those guys in there, and had enough seeds to restart my farm. And I was gonna destroy this and this and this and this and this. But then, as far as I can tell, yeah, it wasn't. I don't think you can, can make a bigger tank than this. You can go vertical, but I don't think it goes like across the whole base, which is what I first thought it was, because I already had that built and that built when I put it down, and so it was just a coincidence, I guess, that it fit the exact space that I had left over. But I totally thought that it, uh, glass, you're not a recipe I want. I totally thought that it was, uh, expanded to the space available. And then that, based on that, I was like, oh man, how big does it get? And I was all excited about getting it to be bigger. And I'm just really happy I didn't go to, commit to tearing this stuff apart. My realization moment was when I was down here. And I was trying to place the, uh, bottom tank. And it was always two by, two, it was always two slots. It was either these two slots or these two middle slots or these two slots. And I'm like, oh. Fuck. My whole thing's busted. But yeah, it's really open down here. Just a big ol' open rectangle with these guys, which makes my my current stability is at 28.1. I think that's how you check. I guess you can go to the the command center, which one of those ideas where it's like, it's kinda neat, not 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 massively useful, but it's here. Yeah. Tells you the time of day, your hardness, and your power. And then, it really, really, this room just exists so that you can name your base and customize what it looks like. And I appreciate that they gave us that, because it's like the vehicles and everything, and it's like, it's what you want. Fragment? Oh, just a fragment, though, not a data thing. Gotta remember that. Yeah. I got excited for a second there. It's, it's usually worth scanning for fragments, but there's gotta be so many around here. It is a bummer that your scannable range is determined by which, like, areas you've been in. Because this game loads blocks like it's Minecraft, and so you have to go to those blocks in order to to load them up. A cool detail is that I can make a bunch of titanium ingots here. And then, if I need to make them back into titanium, I can use the Recyclotron. And turn them back into titanium. Which means that, at least for titan Titanite... It's Titanite, huh? Is it Titanite? Yeah, no, it is titanium. I just misspelled it. <laughs> titanium. I am a, I, a titanite. Yeah, it's titanium. So your titanium can become those, your quartz can become glass. So it turns out I actually did have a decent amount of glass. Uh, but you can actually make it all fit in one thing. Uh, less so with the diamonds. I have so many fucking diamonds and I can't necessarily make them fit anywhere because I got so many fucking diamonds. So there's that. But anyway, got my spy pangling and my spy pangling remote. So, and I got my knife and I got some batteries. Uh, probably grab more of these, honestly. I mean, they, they're renewable. They're a renewable food source. Crafting them one by one's kind of annoying. 
a lack of batch crafting is kind of generally annoying in this game. But we're mostly okay. Oh wait, no, I'm not ready to leave yet. No sharkies, no sharkies, no sharkies. You're fine, you're a whatever shark. Hey, buddy. Wow, I'm really... F it's really long distance this top, huh? Go away. Um. Ooh, that's the guy. Okay. Um. There he is. These guys could use, tr could use trackers. Maybe I need to. I should probably grab him and take him with me when I'm done. God, he's nearby, isn't he? Yeah, pack up, climb. Okay. Yeah, I got... I actually want this. I got the ability to make a... Storage module and fabricator module. Those are both things you might want. Do I want a fabricator module? I mean, I'll, I'll make it. I guess. Uh, let's just pack this up. If I pack it up, I don't have to look for it again. What I should, that's what I should do, is I should, keep, I should keep it in my base. And then deploy it when I want to use it. And then take it back, because my base is not near the surface. And so it's kind of hard to keep track of it. But yeah, but we've, before we go on today's expedition, let's build two new modules for my cool vehicle thing. Which is cool, but not always as useful as the coolness would imply. I feel sometimes. No. No. I'm short one lead. Is there a local lead? I guess that's today's lead in question. That doesn't make any sense. Damn it, I don't know which thing lead is normally in. I don't want to harvest for lead. Uh, uh, fabricator, go away. Oof. We'll just get the three lead that I do have. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Yeah. Wait. I have six lead. I'm an insane person. Here I go. Okay. Um, there's two recipes in here. Which ones are those? The exact ones. Yeah, probably. Okay. Um,. I think my inventory is currently full of food right now. Yeah. There. Good enough. Need some place steel ingot. I believe it's three. Yep. Yeah. Two lithium. So four lithium. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. Yep. Yeah, flickery again. Using up that power. Table coral, gold, copper wire. Ooh, do I have table coral with me? Yes. Was it two? Was it two? Yes. It's all of my table coral. Copper wire. Gold. Is that a normal wiring kit? That's a normal wiring kit. All right, that's pretty chill. I think I'm low on silver though. Yup. Holy shit, we scraped the fucking barrel a few times with this process, didn't we? In my exact supply of table coral and lead and silver. Jesus. You would not be wrong if you were like, did he like fucking make this or something? <laughs> like you would not be, well you would be wrong. But you would not be wrong to be suspecting things if you were like, did he like fucking, what the fuck? <laughs> That's too perfect. It's like he prepared. Except that I clearly was back and forth on whether or not I could even do it. So that, all right, that's, oh, that's the module for my dude or, there we go. Yeah, that's, that's the module for what, for me getting my prawn suit to carry around with me. 
That's what that's for. Someone coming for me? You wanna fucking go? Okay. Let's see. So that thing has to be the back. So let's go ahead and disconnect. Bye bye. Nope, oh, always forget that, that it works that way. You have to tell it to deploy. Storage module. I think I'm going to load that on first because I feel like the storage module is like the first thing that I would want to have attached. It's crafting it up there and then it falls in the water. I feel like I want the storage module to be like right by the rest of my vehicle. Which side do I attach to? <laughs> loading, on, loading these things onto you is so awkward. I'm just crashing into it. I'm gonna fucking break it. I need a... You know trucks have rear view mirrors, guys. Come on, man. Is this the wrong side? How do you tell? Okay, I'm looking north, northeast, so let's go south, southeast. Right? South, southwest. Slowly back up. Okay, am I on the wrong side? How do you... They look the same, don't they? This one has a bar on it. Is that the indicator? How the fuck do you know? There we go. I'm just saying, they could, like, indicate a bit more how you attach to these things. Or just, like, have, like, a button I press and then it, like, does an animation or something. Be nice. Okay. Doop doop. Honestly, the rear view mirror is pretty much what you need. Just some sort of button that I can press to see behind me the way the trucks do in real life. Trucks that have the fucking convenience of, you know, being on a road in a two-dimensional plane, which is already nicer than what I'm dealing with here. Alright, let's try to attach everything else. Coming after me, boy? Okay, so I gotta back up more. The northwest, southwest, south, east. Wait. No, I guess. Wait, no, that's the one I'm trying to load up, isn't it? It's the previous. Yeah, that's why. It's, that's why that, that. That's why that one's that color. Hey, buddies. South, southwest. So north, northeast, or something. <laughs> Motherfucker. There we go. Alright. Do this. Northwest, so southeast. It is surprisingly hard to turn exactly 180 degrees. Please, please, outer, um, I don't know the name of your company. I'm sorry, I forgot. Please patch a rear view mirror into this game. <laughs> please? <laughs> Seems doable, I feel like. I, I, you, I think you can do it. I believe in you. Like, deep down inside. My god! I'm about to give up on the sea truck as a concept just because of this shit, honestly. <laughs> oh my goodness. You can make your own Cyclops, but, you know... Only if you like having two things total. Because more than two things is a lot. It's too much work. Am I flying past it right now? over it. Please? 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 What, do you have to be the back of it or something? Can you not... Now there's like sections for attaching things. The game's just a dick. Oh, I'm dipping. East, southeast. Is 
Did I miss it? Yes. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> this should not be in the finished game. Why is this so hard? There we go, Jesus. Look how much damage I did to it! Ah! I swear I'm not trying to be like petty and dramatic right now. It's just like, what is, how does anyone use this mechanic consistently? It just seems like it's really, <laughs> look at that, look at my cool truck. It seems neat. Why? Boy, is it incredibly unreliable. Like, the basic functions of how you use it. Could you imagine jettisoning your fucking cargo in a dangerous area like the narrative says you should in some situations? And then being like, trying to reconnect it and you can't do it. And you're just like, it's a fucking chaser who wants to attack me and he can't get my truck back together. <laughs> just losing your fucking mind. Like, I just did that in a safe context, and I was kind of fucking on the edge already. Alright, so I broke parts of this. Yeah. There has to be a better way. There's- I got my poor aquarium module. I'm kind of- I'm- I'm just a little relieved that I'm kind of only engaging this as a, with this as a novelty, because having to engage with this as an actual mechanic set on a regular basis would actually be really rough. Is there a way in the back- in here on the back? Like, not here, because that's where it attaches. I think it was just full of hoop fish and then that one guy. Hey, bladderfish. It'd be cool if you could filter this. That'd be kind of useful, as if you could filter for just bladderfish, and then you'd be like, Oh, look, I got a water source, but... I don't know, but by the time you got this module, I feel like you don't actually need to capture fish and eat them that often. Like, how useful is that? It's kind of just nice looking that it has windows, honestly. And that's like the most motivating thing about it. So here's a fabricator with a storage module, so that's nice. It has some storage, not very much, but some. Oh, this... Oh, that's not very big. <laughs> but hey, I can put the mobile vehicle bay in it. And then it's like, whenever I need to make more chunks for it, I just pull the mobile vehicle bay out. Okay. 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 This isn't bad. It's a one, two, three times one, two, three, four, five. So fifteen, thirty. Three, four, five, six, eighteen. So forty-eight, I think. Two, three, four times twelve is sixty. Seventy-two slots. What do I have in my normal inventory? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 48, I think? Yeah. So this thing has... this. The truck officially has more inventory slots than I do in this module. And you can make another one. That's a cool thing about this whole system. And you can label them. I like that the labels are built in. So, except for that one. Oh, wait, no, there's one down there. Oh, okay, there we go. Hi. So you can... You have... Uh, Five labelable compartments for a total inventory slot in space that's larger than what you have on your character. I could just... A, fa a fabricator could be useful, but this stuff, this is pretty unuseful, and I'm not really sure how badly I really want to have my prawn suit with me, for example. But I would be most tempted just to make two of these, and then I can just go on big expeditions where I uh, just sort of casually fill up, uh, just hold on to everything I have. It is nice that this has an inventory slot, but it's so small. Yeah, it's only 12. That's just it's very small compared to the 72 that this one has. That's pretty A-OK. -okay. okay. New question, how do I detach modules? Like some of them, not all, not all of them. Uh-oh. <laughs> Are they all stuck together? Yeah, let's just dis disconnect modules. I want to disconnect some modules. Is there a latch on the outside? Probably. Pilot Fabricator Module. What does that mean? Whoa! Whoa! That would have been useful information. So you just grab onto the module and then you can fly it in first person over to your... Tr 
Ah, there is a better thing. I was doubting you. Because of the fact that it you didn't tell me about that, really. I had to just kind of intuit that I can apparently, with my fucking body, carry a truck around. Alright, so people were definitely shouting that at the screen. But in my defense, you've never been able to do that with any vehicle. Ever. Because it's a vehicle and you're a little man. and Or a woman in this case. And it's like, that's not... That doesn't make any sense. But I'm thankful it's there for basic quality of life, because it would be insane to do it otherwise. Okay. Uh... I don't need to redock, so let's let's not redock, because then I'd have to get my dude back on. That's at quite the angle right now. Alright, so let's uh, refill my belly. Shit. Let's refill my belly, and I guess grab all the food and water I have, maybe, and bring it into my module. Instead of leaving it here, I can bring it with me. So I can be like, here's some water. Here's my excess these that I had. Maybe even, do I have some spare batteries lying around? Got some spare power cells. Those are good to bring along if I need a refill. Yeah, I don't know what else I'd do with them most of the time. Probably only need a, need a couple. I do need to use this thing as storage space in many cases. You could even bring... Yeah. Bring some tools that you could use. Instead of leaving them behind. I could keep my spy pangling and stuff in the, with me. Instead of leaving it behind because I can put it in my base. Got a spare battery. Awkwardly a power cell in here, too. <laughs> ah, grab the fourth power cell, why not? Oh, inventory. You know, fuck it. I'm committed to intervals of two. This is who I am. Okay, so I'm very happy to find out that feature exists. Alright, daddy. <sighs> oh, whoop. Oh. Right, I'm crooked. Oh no, is the bug gonna happen again? No, not, not you. Ah! Put all my gear down here. My last gear fit- no, the- the... Yeah, fuck. You're, you're three by three, that's not gonna fit. I can jam all my food in here. Not all of it, I need some of it to live. Admittedly. Excess water, though, like a lot of that. Too many batteries. Okay, so that's an alright place to be. Storage module is nice to have. Oh, still says recipes here. There we go. But he was a chunky dude. Like, that's... One, two, three. Yeah, so I, I was at five modules, or, or five pieces, if you count the cockpit. Big long thing. I <laughs> could imagine a lot of situations where you accidentally do damage to parts of your vehicle because you, like, butt whip it or something. Definitely, ho definitely hope to find some kind of speed increaser for this guy. Because he's kind of slow. And yeah, I think I'll have to do some... I'll have to look into which mineral deposits give you silver and lead and try to harvest those if I can because I am running out of all of my shit. I already deconstructed the my silly hacker base that I used to try to climb that area. The funny paradox here where it's like, it's so dark I can't see, turn the lights on, and it's like sometimes the lights are almost more blinding. I'm decently far away. It's not always easy to judge speeds. I wouldn't mind having like a 
a speed indicator that tells you how fast you're going based on how many modules you have and kind of learn how that affects your speed. We know having no modules makes you faster because they even explain like that they would jettison their modules to escape. That was the basis of how I got my storage module. The irony here is that I built a base all the way down there in order to get further away. I mean, even in order to get closer to stuff that I need going forward, like we're making progress. But I got further from land, and now I'm poking around with the land stuff. So, in this specific example, I now have a longer commute. Whoops. So I did immediately fill my storage with all my stuff, but that stuff might be nice to have. Now I can just take my pengling and my... Uh, hello? My pengling with me, my propulsion cannon and so on. And so if it becomes useful in some context, I can use it without going back to the base again. Which was the basis of the whole thing that just happened, is I just had to go all the way back because I didn't have my pengling. And now I can just take it everywhere, which I always, you know, I always could, but now I've got the space to take, like, every piece of equipment with me all the time. And if I make another module, then I can have a really good amount of chunk of space for resources, too. Right now it's a little either or, just because I kind of run out. Hello, it is I, Sir Pengling. I do not remember how the controls work for sure, but I will do my best regardless. Ouch! Don't fall over and I can't save you. Very tragic, I'd have to make a new pengling just to get you out. Filtered water. Some bullshit. Additional bullshit. Four inventory slots full. Can I interact with this thing? Hold Q to self destruct, jeez. Yep, there's more battery. I guess I can come back out. I was definitely hoping more for more than a few parts. So far, we're really getting disappointing trips out of this guy. In that, um... I believe he has just been straight up not useful so far. <laughs> so all I've gotten is resources that I already have. Or some constructed things that I already have. Or can make plenty of. Definitely want to find, like, technology or something really, really useful. I think that's it. Although, earlier I thought that was it, and then I found that battery. Hoop. I can clip through that wall. That's awkward. I don't think I can go up this... Oop, I can see out of the environment again. No, I think that's it. I'm trying to be thorough here, but I don't think there's anything else going on here. And I don't see any, like, ramps I can go up or other holes to explore. Hello. Alright, Spy Pengling. We gave it a go. Bit of a disappointing trip. But at least now we know. Yeah, I guess I just head back in now. Hmm. 
You know what would have been good use for a fabricator? Making another beacon. Got a couple more of these than, than I really want. Okay. So what I could use, and I don't think I have any resources on me right now. Yeah, I wish I'd planned for this. What is it? A titanium and a copper for a beacon? I should collect enough of that. Because if I'm going to go find the other location... Maps. There you go. Fuck. So I'm here. So I want to go southwest to find here. You can almost go straight west from the island, but not quite. You have to go north a bit. If I can find the way onto that area, I can go explore that area next. I think I have some advantage. Let's see, west. Yeah, there's an artifact beacon in that direction, so that helps me find what direction I'm going in to some extent at least. So that's somewhat useful. It, I wonder if the Cyclops glitch happens anymore where you uh, fall out of this thing. That happened so much before. Okay. That's a potentially promising looking little outcrop that I'll take a look at. Titanium. Okay, that's one. Copper, copper. Ooh, there's a lot of them around here. Copper, 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 copper. Oop. There's banging noises. Someone's probably getting shot. Is it fireworks or gunshots? What a nice city game to play. Alright, I have enough for two beacons. But wait, you're thinking. You didn't bring a fabricator module. But thankfully, we have a fabricator nearby. It was so nice of them to just give us one. Right around this area. So go there, build a beacon there, maybe even two. Why not? Just have a spare. Get get the, get the building of the next one out of the way. And then I can mark the entrance to that place because I'm sure it's going to be a pain to find. So that just happened. Mm. <laughs> Why am I wired this way? Why do I do this? I just like reflexively clicked on making a, a copper wire. Fuck. Come on, just one more copper. I'm so sorry. You're gonna taunt me with all this titanium. Wow, look at all this titanium. Please give me come please give me some copper. Fuck. Everyone saw. Everyone saw what you did, you fool. Uh look at the just any blobs. Just give me blobs. No. I don't have it memorized at all which ones would give me copper. But I know there I know it's in the area. Okay. Well, that was a funny minute of me screwing myself over. We all had a great laugh, didn't we? <laughs> Why did I do that? God, stop it, me. What a pain. Okay, very carefully. I'm not so much for me making backlogs or whatever, but at least I have a beacon now. There. Jeez. Unfortunate. Put everything away. I'm gonna need the pangling at the place we're going to. Alright. I got my beacon. Let's see if I can find my way. 
find the entrance this episode, maybe. Oop. Bad times for you. Kill. <laughs> the battering ram element of this vehicle is so strong that uh the chompy guys those black ones with the beaks one of them just kind of bumped into me when I was driving around and I looked I looked back and saw it was dead and I was like oh jeez there you go So as has been true in the past, I don't necessarily know how to get where I'm going. Ooh. Well, this certainly seems promising. Let's get out and eat a little bit. No need to use my resources if there's just stuff lying around. Remember this old stuff? Oh man. Yeah, that stuff was fairly good, wasn't it? Okay, this cave looks promising. And it's the type of cave that's like deep enough I would probably be afraid to explore it before I got a vehicle. Oh. Have I been here before? Oh. Are you little baby vent gardens? I love this about this game, was you just go in a direction sometimes and you just find like a wonder. Like the curiosity of like exploring the inside of that, uh... Are you friendly? You did like electricity a second ago, so I'm a little concerned. An eye jelly, okay. I don't think you're quite a vent guard. Oh god, it is like an eye, isn't it? I'm not sure that it necessarily comes after me though. That is a really big one over there. But yeah, like, when we found the, um... That, like, when I went in the inside of that glacier and, when, like, explored the weird cave, and, like, that felt completely optional. It's just, like, a cool, weird detail they put in the game. Let's see the eye jelly. It's a large herbivore. The eye jelly resides in deep waters. It's made of three distinct body sections. Tentacles, the main body, and the bell. The end tentacles are covered in bioluminescent no uh, nodes, which attract prey. When the tentacles are touched, they emit a shock through specialized cells called... Uh, cnidocytes. Cnidocytes? With these... Uh, within these cells are venomous, harpoon-like structures called nematosis, which are triggered by touch. The eye jellies gently drift with, loco with little locomotion, though they can track motion with their large, singular eye. It was looking at me, even though they don't move much. That's kind of distressing. Yeah, they have little harpoons. That's usually how... If there's like the stereotype is about jellyfish like shocking things with electricity or so on, and that's often how it showed in media, but generally speaking, they uh, they stab you and inject venom into you, and that's the sti that's the sting. The uh, their tentacles, which are, it's like not normally visible on a jellyfish, but it, it's it's basically like imagining like a piece of yarn that has a bunch of dirty needles stuck through it, like like syringes. That's kind of what you're talking about. Like, it's just like a, it's just a, each little tentacle just has a bunch of little needles and those will get you. Pretty fucking gross, actually.